Hello nurses, this is Kevin with nursingcamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing and the NCLEX. Today's focus is on pulmonary lecture number 14, arterial lines in the Allen's test. You can be found on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, nursingcamp.com, and social media. And I'm working from the sticky note here found on social media. Okay, let's get into it. The first thing is, is that indicators for an A-line. An A-line is an arterial line. And what it is, is most accurately, it is a, is a um, catheter that is put in the artery in the radial arm, the radial artery. And what it does is, is that it monitors the blood pressure. So that's the ultimate thing, is it, it truly accurately monitors the blood pressure. That's different than a BP cuff. Now, a BP cuff um, is accurate, but it's only as accurate as a person doing it, and hemodynamics and patients are all different as far as how that measurement will be. However, an A-line is the most accurate of blood pressure readings. And the, and the reason that is, is, is because it's in the artery. It's right in there, and it's taking up pressure readings. Now, some indicators for it will be like after surgery, like patients who are hemodynamically unstable, post cabbage, patients who might need vasopressors, like vasopressors like neosinephrine, epinephrine, dobutamine, dopamine. Um, also patients, um, whenever vital signs are severely unstable, like in shock, cardiogenic, uh, hypovolemic, septic shock, uh, anticipate an A-line. Okay, so let's talk about the Allen's test. Now the Allen's test, so we know the indicators for an A-line. Now prior to an A-line is, is that you're gonna do what's called an Allen's test. An Allen's test is a non-invasive um, test to assess patency of the arterial blood flow of the hand. Because you're gonna be sticking a catheter into um, the artery here. So what you really want to do is assess this. Never ever prior to uh, put an A-line in unless you've assessed the Allen's test. All right, so what you do is, is that you occlude the ulna and the radial. And you have that patient make a fist. And once they make a fist, they open it up and it should be pale. Then you release the ulna artery and what should happen is it should go pink. That's a positive Allen's test. And what happens is, is that that means it is patent. And an A-line can be put in. All right, so now an A-line, let's talk a little bit about the structure of an A-line and what we're looking at when we're looking at the A-line. Now, the A-line has different components to it. So the first thing is, is you put up a pressure bag. In a pressure bag, there's a normal saline 500 cc's. And what you do is you put a pressure bag over it, and then you pump it up. Pressure to about 300 uh, millimeters of mercury. And the next thing is, is that that pressure bag will be connected to a transducer. And that transducer is going to be measuring the blood pressure. And that transducer will then go to a um, stopcock. And in that stopcock, there might be a syringe. Now, this isn't 100% on all of them. Um, newer systems have, has a syringe. And this is where we draw ABGs from. And then, for some of the older systems that doesn't have this uh, uh, syringe, then this goes to the patient into that catheter. There's also another wire that goes up to a monitor. And that's where you get your arterial A-line readings. Okay. So that's basically the connection. So um, now there used to be, uh, used to put heparin in these. You do not put heparin 
in these bags. It's just normal saline at a pressure of 300. It's connected to a transducer, which is going to be connected to a monitor. And then it continues on. There's an ABG drawer. And then, or not, depending on your system. And then it goes to the catheter here. And then the patient's there. Okay. So, so let's look at um, some of the uh, aspects of an A-line. So when we're looking at an A-line, we're looking at, um, with NCLEX, we're looking at the primary principles behind it. And what those primary principles are is understanding what an A-line is. The pre-procedure of an Allen's test prior to an A-line, and also the monitoring during an A-line. So let's look at the monitor here. So when we're looking at the monitor, this transducer is connected to this monitor up here. And what we do is, is that we will uh, look at this waveform. And that waveform is very specific to an A-line. And with the waveform, you have certain parts. Oops, sorry. Got a little happy with my dichrotic notches. So you have basically a systolic section and a diastolic section. And this is called, right here, is called the, the dichrotic notch. Now that dichrotic notch is um, shows that there's a good waveform. So you have up here, which is systolic, and that, is, that systolic is the peak contraction. And this little section right here is where the aortic valve closes. And then you have diastolic, okay. So when you're looking at the monitoring for an A-line, you want to make sure there's a dichrotic notch and you want to have a positive waveform. What are some things that you might have? You might have a problem with like what's called dampening. Dampening is just basically um, poor waveform. And what you want to do when you see dampening is you want to reassess the system. Always assess patient first, but reassess the system. So if you see dampening, you reassess and you recalibrate, and then you get the uh, look for the dichrotic notch. All right, so let's look at the A-leaps as far as um, uh, A-lines. And what we're looking at, well, A-leaps is a method that I use when I'm assessing um, content and teaching the content um, for understanding. All right, so the first thing is the A. The A is either, is this an acute thing or a chronic thing in A-line? Well, it's acute. Right, it's done in acute situations when hemodynamics are a problem. It's looking for blood pressure. So um, any labs associated with, um, no, any labs that are associated with uh, A-line? Well, some of the labs I might look at is bleeding, you know, coags. Um, also, um, you know, platelets. Because remember, you're going to be putting a catheter in here, and is there a problem with bleeding? Um, what is it looking for? There's another L there. Well, it's looking for blood pressure and giving you an accurate reading. And based on those readings, so and let's talk a little bit about that, is, is that you never ever react to one BP reading on hemodynamics. You always look at the trend before you call the doctor. Any eating or other factors that have to do with diet with an A-line? No. Okay, what's the assessment before? Assessment is Allen's test before. During, we're looking for the dichrotic notch. Um, what about post? Um, well, we'll be worried about thromboembolisms. We'll also be worried about um, hemorrhage, bleeding. What about prescriptions? Um, well, I would evaluate Coumadin. I question if they're on a heparin drip. And um, it doesn't mean that they won't be on it. It's just you would question it. Um, what else? Uh, problems. What's some problems with it? Problems are hematoma, bleeding, thromboembolisms, like a PE or something like that. In a PE, you would look at for increased shortness of breath. And please see my PE lecture for that. What stands out about an A-line? Well, the main thing that stands out about an A-line is an invasive catheter that really, if you see an A-line in a question, it's, it's specifically about blood pressure. 
We never react on the first blood pressure. We monitor for a dichrotic notch and for dampening. Dampening is a problem. Um, if there's a, no dichrotic notch or we have dampening, we reassess the system and we monitor. We always trend our blood pressure. We do not do a manual blood pressure when we have a, though it might happen, um, it doesn't validate this blood pressure because an A-line is priority blood pressure. All right, that's about it. My name is Camp, and this is Nursing Camp, and um, this was my basic overview on A-lines and arterial lines and Allen's test. Please follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and we'll see you next time.